The U.S. military revised a regulation today to remove some outdated language that many African Americans find offensive. How it got there and why it was still there is a story told by Chip Reed. The U.S. Army is about 21 percent black, but some were left wondering what decade they're living in when it was revealed that a little-known Pentagon regulation permitted black or African-American soldiers to be identified as Negro. The language came from a government-wide policy written in 1997, but Secretary of the Army John McHugh was surprised and outraged and directed that the word be removed immediately. White House spokesman Josh Ernest. The uh, military has updated the policy as of today uh, and that that language that's in question is no longer being used. Um, you know, obviously, the, uh, you know, we believe that's an appropriate step. It was a common term in the 1960s when even Dr. Martin Luther King frequently referred to blacks as Negroes in speeches. But by the 1970s, it had fallen out of favor and today is considered by many to be offensive. The Census Bureau added the term in the 1950 census, arguing that some older blacks prefer that term. In fact, as recently as the 2000 census, more than 56,000 blacks did choose to identify themselves as Negro. The Bureau stopped using the term just this year. An administration official said today it is looking into the issue and added, quote, the outdated term Negro may need to be updated to address the growing diversity of the population. So the Pentagon and the Census Bureau no longer use the word, but Scott, for the rest of the federal government, it is still officially on the books as it has been for years. Chip Reed in Washington for us tonight. Chip, thank you very much.